What is going on YouTube? Hey, Mac making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we are going to be looking at XRP, Ethereum, Bitcoin, as well as the S&P 500. Um, as you guys know, today is Sunday, which means we're going to be doing the drawing today to see which one of you lucky subscribers is going to be going home with an XRP crypto coin display completely free. So we'll be doing that drawing in a few minutes here. But what we're going to be looking at in today's video, as you guys know, yesterday, we spent quite a bit of time discussing the fact that the S&P 500 has uh, decided to draw drop at a quite substantial rate very quickly to be honest with you guys you can see the price range just over the last week it's it's really terrible four and a, four point seven five four and three quarter percent drop literally in four days five days max which is an insane drop very quickly uh we are becoming oversold on the four hour we're going to check things out on the daily to see hey is there more potential for us to go even lower uh we are at a current support that we do have at 42.84 there's a chance there's a chance we could pull lower which would be down to like 41.69 but we'll go over that too just to see how where this bottom is and i believe that could be the lowest point we we see hopefully within the s p but people are hitting at a recession so i don't know we're just going to be looking at the cryptos thing is as you guys should know from previous videos typically what happens is when the s p is closed after friday at 4 p.m um saturday and sunday we typically don't see much movement within cryptocurrencies and that's a continued you know response to what we're seeing now yesterday not much movement today probably not going to see much movement either be shocked if we do but xrp not really trading doing anything obviously we are oversold again similar to the s p on the four hour but we're kind of flatline right now we're waiting for uh tomorrow's response to the s p that's my opinion here ethereum also not seeing much movement bitcoin also not seeing much movement yesterday did absolutely nothing like notice the past few days of last week big swings very similar to the s p yesterday and today we're probably not going to see that yesterday did absolutely nothing today we're probably not going to see much of anything either so we're going to be talking about the possibilities of, of what's to come come tomorrow uh are we going to be heading lower did we hit a bottom so on and so forth um but with that being said guys definitely make sure to smash the like button for the youtube algorithm turn on post notifications subscribe and let's dive into today's episode so guys it is that time we're going to be doing the drawing to see which one of you guys is winning this xrp giveaway just pulling it up right here i picked a video from last week uh filtered to duplicate users and the spam which is insane and hopefully youtube can solve that um just so fyi there's a lot of people impersonating me in the comment sections below that's not me just understand that whatsapp i don't have it i don't use it so if you get that message you know dm me on whatsapp it's fake i don't use it um you know so just be mindful of that i never 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 ask you to invest your money you know or give me your money to invest on whatsapp or Honestly, any platforms anywhere. I would never do that. So if you see those comments, you know, pinned crypto TV, blah, 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 it's all fake. Just FYI. Now, I filtered the duplicate users. The winner is Dan M. As you guys can see here, he did the right thing. He commented XRP and subscribed. So Dan M, if you're watching, make sure to send me an email to crypto TV official at gmail.com with your, uh, you know, shipping address as well as your phone number. And then, um, yeah, that's it. Send me a uh, photo too of your account like this so I can see that this is your account here. That's pretty much it. Um, otherwise, diving into the technical analysis, as you guys can see here, top 10 cryptocurrencies were pretty much flatlined out again, you know, kind of hovering around the $2 trillion level at 1.84 currently. But yeah, clearly you can see the last seven days, every crypto for the most part is not seeing much movement yesterday and today. And this is probably going to continue until tomorrow uh, morning or into tomorrow until we get the uh, S&P to open up. But we're not seeing any movements at all. Markets are obviously all down. Uh, people are just worried about recession. People are worried about what's to come with the markets. I mean, I don't want to spread FUD, guys, but like long term, we might be we might not be seeing another bull market until, you know, maybe early or sorry, late 2023, early 2024, because that's when the next Bitcoin having is. And typically we see that. Not that this market currently is a problem. These are great buying opportunities because this is when you want to be buying. You know, obviously the hype is going to come 2023, 2024, but now are these low exhausted prices that are just beautiful times to buy in. But to start with XRP, so currently XRP 
is oversold on the four hour. Possible bullish cross on the MACD here. We did, you know, discuss a short position on the four hour moderate to aggressive trade because we did draw a symmetrical triangle here. We confirmed closing below that short position from 74 cents down to 70 cents. Easy position to take advantage of. We did this on XRP um, on the BitYard charts here. Obviously, you can see we, you know, BitYard is the number one cryptocurrency leveraging exchange we like to use here on the platform, my opinion, but it's definitely really good. And I highly recommend getting involved in this. Um, basically, we just drew a ascending or symmetrical triangle here, which I'd like to draw for you guys. Here it is. This is the uptrend. And then we had a downtrend. And then we confirmed, you know, if we break above, close a four hour, uh, four hour candle above this resistance here, we know to buy in long. We close a four hour candle below this resistance, or sorry, this support, we know to buy in for a short. Clearly, we close below the support. We put a short position in, and it was a short to the downside here. Market order, type in very low, very low leverage. And then we literally click sell short, and we're capitalizing off this run. Super simple, very easy. Uh, take profits or move that stop loss down, whatever you want to do. Uh, but obviously, if you are something you guys might not be aware of, is if you sign up with a link in the description down below, click on mystery box once you create your account with the link in the description, and then get your free crypto right here. It's super cool. You can also daily mine crypto, which we can do too, which is also cool. You can get like free bonuses or just money to put into your um into your account every day which is also awesome so i like to mine these and then you can see it puts it into your uh, accounts right here and then you can literally transfer your assets over to your platform and use them to uh, withdraw or do whatever you want with which is also really 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 cool otherwise guys i do want to look at xrp's daily charts here and just to see if there's more potential to head lower which uh there might just be you can see we're trading at about 37 38 on the relative strength indicator there's a chance we could flood lower uh, but today's going to really decide how we close this weekly chart here uh, it'd be very interesting to see hey are we going to be closing the weekly charts below this moving average here because this is the insight that we have to deal with today is sunday that marks the end of the weekly charts formations here so if we see xrp closed currently where it is which you can clearly tell is below its moving average here if we close below this there's a very big chance we're going to continue the drop to the downside here with a target at 59 cents this would be an even better short position so come tomorrow we're gonna know whether or come tonight we're gonna know whether to be buying in for a long or in for a short because if we close above here we reverse up there's a chance we might swing back up but there's a bigger chance that if we close exactly where we are tonight that we're going to continue to fall lower, which would open a door, another buying opportunity to short from 70 cents down to 59 cents here, which I would like to believe is the bottom, given that this seems to be where the price typically kind of fluctuates. We don't either we don't break through it or we don't break below it here uh, for over a year. So that's ideally over like a year and a half here. That's ideally the uh, price floor that we're looking at and the target that XRP is going to be moving to if we close tonight below this uh, moving average, which seems like that's the case. Now, if we see XRP close the weekly tonight below that, we then have to look at other, you know, possible opportunities here. I'm going to just go back to the daily charts here. Uh, the other possibilities are things like Bitcoin falling lower. Bitcoin on its daily charts here, you can clearly see is flatline, not really seeing much movement. Trading at about 39 on the relative strength indicator, similar to, to XRP. The weekly charts is where I want to talk about stuff. So the weekly chart, similar to uh, XRP, we had that 59 cent bottom. Bitcoin has a bottom closer to about $31,000, 30K. That, to me, hopefully, is rock bottom. We haven't been below 30K since, uh, you know, 2020. The late, 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 like last few days of 2020 is uh, the last time we were at, you can see, $20,000 or $31,000 here. This seems to be a support very similar to what was drawn on um, XRP here. Not only do we have weekly moving averages holding us up here, if ideally, if we were to pull, pull from 39K where we are all the way down to $31,000, very big chance we're going to become retesting oversold in the weekly, which are just good buying opportunities as a whole. Um, because you know, you're no longer buying at 70,000 or 68,000, you're buying at 30, $30,000. It's oversold on the weekly. You know, last time we were oversold on the weekly, prices of Bitcoin are 32K. Look at where it went 14. You would have four extra money, you know, then we went up to 65K. You would have done very well. So there's two scenarios here. Either the price of Bitcoin is going to continue in this ascending fractal, which you can see is forming on the weekly here. There's a chance we might break below that. I'm not entirely sure. We'll see 
how we close. If we break through, then we know we're not in this ascending fractal pattern that has higher lows and higher highs. We're going to be breaking down, and we're either going to be coming into contact with the moving average. We are, and we're either going to hold above here and head up, or we're going to break through it and fall down to 31K. Now, also keep in mind, the last time we were below the moving average was back in 2020, like March of 2020, which is a while ago. So the likelihood that that happens is also slim, but it is a big possibility. If we pull back down to 31,000, there's a big support here, like a massive, massive, massive support. If this doesn't hold, and obviously if we break through this, we're going to be in a short position. So we'll have that position opened. There probably will be some consolidation here, and we'll move the stop loss down just in case. But if we break through 31K, there's going to be a very big dump, and it's not just going to be within Bitcoin. It's probably going to be within other crypto, obviously all the other cryptocurrencies too. There's just big variables here. So there's a lot of if and buts. Will we go up? Will we go down? But the volume that comes with these movements here will be beautiful buying opportunities for us to easily take advantage of. Uh, moving average on Ethereum is also floating at about, you know, are there RSI is also floating at about 38, no, 39 to 40 on the relative strength indicator. Also flatlined, waiting for tomorrow's movements here. But there's big plays coming, guys. You just have to stick around and wait it out. These are the times that, you know, you have to be patient and you'll come up ahead of most people. Otherwise, that's pretty much going to wrap up today's video. Definitely make sure to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Try to post notifications, subscribe, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.